Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will look at how we can use advanced query syntax on Windows Search. We will also look at how we can add useful commands on Windows Quick Access Toolbar to speed up work. So let's get started. I have this downloads folder open with files in different extensions. So I have the applications, XE format, some JavaScript, few other formats, PDF, Excel file, etc. Let's say we want to search for file name recording underscore 26 dot wav. This is the file here. Let's search for recording underscore 26. Let me type here recording underscore 26. All right. We can see here that the search result includes three results of which two of two are wav files and one is txt extension file. Just for a reminder, if you don't see the extensions here, you can go to the view tab and click on file name extensions and it will show you the extensions so let's say we only want to search for results where the file type is wav so let's give it file type as wav so on the search box we will say type equals wav okay so now we can see two results let's all right so looking at the main folder we can see that there are two files named as recording underscore 26 dot wav let's say if you want to see where each file is coming from we can look at the folder name and the folder path which are visible here so we can see that one of the file is coming from the downloads main folder and one of them is coming from a subfolder within the downloads folder named test folder if you do not have these two visible here right click and find this here in f so you say folder and the two will appear here as folder name and folder path just click on it and they will start to show up all right let me clear the search filter all right so it means that the search result is pulling from within the subfolder as well so let's say if we just want it to pull the data from the main folder we can give it the parameter named folder name as well and specify the folder as downloads so let's do that we will say here and then we'll say folder name downloads We'll search it and we will see here that it's only showing us one result that is coming from the main folder named downloads. This is especially useful where you have a lot of subfolders with overlapping file names or you're taking multiple backups with same file names that are spread across different subfolders. Alright, let's take a look at another example where we have three files. First is named as social security, second is named as social and the third one is named as security social. If we type social in search box, we will see that it will pull up all of the three files. Let me type it here. You can see that it's pulling up all of the three files. Now let's say if we want to find the item that contains social but not security, we will type social and we'll keep it written here. We will say not and then we'll type security. So here we can see that it is now pulling up files where we have the social keyword but the security keyword is not in it. All right, I will add a reference to Microsoft web page for more details on how you can use advanced query syntax. All right, let's move on to another example. Or you can also use kind where you will say, let's say music or docs. So for example, let's go with docs and it is pulling up the PDF files, Excel files and the text file. Another thing you can do in Windows is to speed up your work is to add a shortcuts on the Microsoft quick access toolbar. So I have few here. Let me remove them quickly so I can show how easy it is to add them again. For example, let's add this option here, which will give us an option to open the file with different programs. We right click on open and we say add quick access toolbar. So as you can see here, it is added here. We will add another one and then we will test it. So Another useful command I use is copy path. So I just right click it and say add to quick access toolbar. The easiest way to access these is using alt. So you press alt once and then it will start to show up these options here. So you just have to press in the specific numeric keyword. So for example, I type in three and it will give me a list of programs this can open with. Since it's an XE file, it's only showing up one program. Let's right click on this one. So we do alt, we do three. So it's showing up a list of programs which this PDF file can open with. Similar to this is the, the one we added is copy as path. So we do alt to access this. We do four and we will see that it has automatically copied the path to clipboard. We can verify this by using notepad 
and you can see here that it has copied the path otherwise which would have been you would say control shift right click then you would do copy as path kind of saves you a lot of steps in there as always if you have any questions please post them as comments if you like the video please click like and subscribe and stay tuned for more and i will see you next time thank you